I guess this is on the way. I guess so here I'm doing an absolute, absolute dirty review of pretty dirty, pretty dirty, pretty dirty. So uh, I'm liking this up. I'm liking this anime so far. This anime is definitely a very good anime. I think this is basically one of the best animes I've seen in a long time from from PA Works. From PA Works, because I know PA Works do Charlotte and also um, the day I became God and also. Um, uh, Angel Beats as well too. I think they also did Clan Ad or something like that. I think they did. I'm not so sure if they did Clan Ad or not. That's something I don't know. But I really am glad I jumped on the season one anime, the uh, the season one anime. I think it's. I think this anime is definitely is very very good. It's just, it's really such a good anime. I never heard of these names of these horses that really actually do exist in real life, which which they basically are and stuff like that, and you know. And, and stuff, and you know, I think they, I think they give out like good names for the horses and, and stuff. Like, like I said before, it's just that some of these horses did live on to be great horses, you know, in these races, probably in Japan or maybe some other places, something like that, or maybe within the U.S. or something like that, or or maybe Great Britain or something like that. That's something I don't know. That's a, that's something I don't know because I have no idea if these rare horses, you know, even exist or anything like that. Because which I got spoiled down in the tag, not not in the tags, but which I got spoiled in in the comments down below. Because I was just reading the comments like what everyone was saying like about the about the anime and stuff like that. Now I still want to know if this anime is really based on a manga series or light novel. That's something I really don't know. That's something I really don't know. But like I said, like I said before, I'm really impressed with what this anime really is. This anime is definitely very very good and very, very fresh. It's, it's just, just really is. It just makes me so very excited to see season two. I cannot wait to see season two and what season two really has to offer for for this anime is, is, and stuff like that. It's just this whole concept of this of this anime is just it's just really just very very beautiful and stuff like that and, and stuff like that. But now let's talk about special week. I want to talk about her special week, which. Actually, this is not her fault, which is not her fault, which I blame the trainer for this. This is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. I think he gave her an outfit that was just too short for her, not really the right size for her or something like that. But she was having a problem with her skirt, and basically her zipper was just like in the back. I got a little worried because I got a little worried and concerned that maybe her skirt would drop drop down in the middle of the race. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wish it didn't happen or anything like that. I'm not wishing it would happen. That I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's just... Probably, you know, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna say that again. So yeah, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted just wanted to say that because she's like putting her hand right behind her back and stuff like that, and you know she just and she was just playing with the um the zipper of her skirt and you know, like that and stuff, and she was like very worried about her skirt, but she never really told her her teammates you know about her skirt was being too short for her, which I think is just not appropriate for a girl. For a girl or somebody or someone you know out there and you know wants to wear a short skirt because I know Japan likes to make short skirts for girls you know in anime that's just how they I guess that's how they like it something like that or something I don't know that's just part of the one of the fetishes that what they do like is so like that is I guess that's just part of uh, part of the the culture I I guess I don't know I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. That's just from what I do know. From, from, what, from what I think I do know, I, I don't know. Like I said, you know, I don't know enough well about this anime, but I do know one thing for sure. One thing for sure is that, you know, about Special Week is that, you know, she she may be a very good fast runner and stuff like that, but there is just times that she may not be able to win, like, every single race and stuff like that. Even though she was competing in the Triple Crown one one of the races, that she was competing in were were each and our, each each um uh, the each uh, each one of these girls has to wear a different outfit to present present themselves to be you know good horse girls and stuff like that and, and stuff like that. Usually horses don't wear like any outfits or anything like that. I just they just wear like a, they just wear like like a toss and stuff like that. You know and and you know like and some kind of um loose or something to grab on or something like that like. Like this or something like that, you know, you're just trying to the horse or something like that. Usually the um the guys usually just stands on the horses. Not that stand on them, they usually just like 
hike up like this, you know, hike up like this, and then they have the whip and stuff like that. And they usually, like, have a number uh, on them, like, number 14 or number 13 or number 1 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 10 or 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever. whatever. And, you know, and usually they have, I think the U.S. usually have, like, 16 horses, I think. And I think that Japan has, like, a total of 14 horses. I, I don't know. Basically, all I do know, basically, all I do know that a lot of people wagers on these horses, which I talked about in my last review, which I talked about in my last review, because you guys got to remember, because there's a lot of people who really likes to make bets on horses. That's just one thing they want to do, because they just want to win their fair share of money. That's all they care about. That's all they care about, just money. But as I said, as I said before, I would admit, I feel really bad, you know, wagering on some animals, you know, back then and stuff like that. I never did a really a whole lot. It's just that I was just involved in with, with my dad. I'm doing just doing some gambling because, you know, it, I mean, you know, that was that was a long time ago. But I, even though I still feel kind of bad because, because you know, it's just you know, it's just something that I just don't. I just didn't feel comfortable really actually doing and stuff like that. And and you know, it's just you know, I was just trying to figure out what's the whole purpose of me doing this. That's why I was just trying to. I forgot what I was doing. I was just having a good time, and I was just really was, and you know, I was just looking at some of the dogs and got some of the uh, look at look at some other things also as well too. They usually give you a book manual like for every single race, for every single race, like segment one, segment two, segment three, segment four. Usually, my, me and my dad would usually just stay there like until midnight and something like that, and usually wait for the last race, which which they have their bigger races, which they have their bigger races. For, for them for them to, to win maybe off five hundred dollars or thousand dollars. It just depends. It just depends on what number you want to cheer on for for for, for that specific of a horse or a dog to win to win the race and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said before, there's a lot of people out there, especially rich people out there, they want to make wages and stuff like that. Not just because the, the racers, not just because the um, the guys are or girls are standing on the horses, standing on the horses Stay on the horses and use like hit a whip on them and stuff like that and and stuff. It's just I just don't like. That's just over my opinion. I know horses are used to that, like you know, just like whipping them or something like that. And you know, I think it's just abuse. That's just what I think. And you know, and and, and stuff. So so yeah. But uh, yeah. Even though even though this episode was definitely was very, very good. But like I said for you know the, the it just brings up some similar similarities. You know. Basically, from what I saw, and you know, basically, you know, like in dog races and horse races, but we usually have a lot of dog races, you know, in our state of Florida. I don't think we do have any horse races. I think we do. I'm not so sure, sure that maybe South of Florida, maybe Orlando or Miami. I don't know. I don't know. It just depends on the condition and the weather, you know, in um, in around those areas and stuff like that, you know, and you know, stuff, so especially where I'm from, which I, I live close by near Pensacola. Live, live near Pensacola because um, they um, they do have a dog track out there. They do have one, but they don't have like no race circuit or anything like that. I heard the news, one of my local local news news stations and stuff. I think I've heard that they're planning on shutting down the Greyhound, the Greyhound, um, not not the bus, not the bus. I'm talking about the Greyhound dogs. You know, do do their races and stuff like that. So so yeah. So yeah, even though, uh, like I said, for episode episode eight, not episode. I mean, I mean episode episode three. Yeah, episode three was just a very good episode, very good episode. And you know, it, it, there are times, there are times like a horse may win one or two races, or maybe they might win a not race, or a dog may win another race, or something like that, or something. It, it's just, it's just that. They just become so burnt out, like doing races and stuff like that. Sometimes they retire the dogs, sometimes they retire the horses. You know, just be one of the best. But you know, like I said before, I just don't like the whole concept. You know, just like having horses and dogs, you know, in the races. That I, that's just something I just don't feel is right. That's just that's just my opinion. So yeah. But uh, anyways, the uh, that's the end of my review. That's the end of my discussion. Anyways, this is Chris. Anyways, this is Unknown X. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Take care, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please be sure to check out uh, all, all my links down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys want to follow any of my links down below, please do. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interviews, a lot of reactions, and also image news as well, too. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more controversial hot topics and also updates on my channel also, well, too. Please leave a like on the video. Please give it a thumbs up.
Please click on the notification bell for um, any reviews, live reactions, and in, in, in news. And so, yeah. If you guys want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and please also turn on that notification bell if you guys if you guys want to if you got if you guys want to or not. I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying you guys should subscribe, but it's always very important if you guys want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like my YouTube channel, I hope you guys do like it. Oh, excuse me. I hope you guys do like it. So yeah, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, like I said. Um, if you guys want to um, follow me on any of my social medias, you can follow me on my, you can follow me or like my Facebook family page. You can follow me on Twitter or you can follow me on Instagram. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Take care. God bless. And remember, Jesus love you and I love you guys. Take care. Bye.